If you own a bicycle, you're bound to encounter a flat tire at one point or another. Before you start this repair, you'll need a patch kit. These are really cheap and I got this one from Fred Meyer for $1.50. In this video, I'm going to show you how to patch a tube on a coaster brake bike. But the process is essentially the same on all bikes. This repair will be on the rear wheel and is slightly more involved than the front wheel. Once the nuts have been removed, I'll have to disconnect the coaster brake arm by removing this screw. At this point, I forgot that this bike also has a handbrake on the back wheel, so I'll loosen the screw that holds the brake cable on. After clearing the chain from the gear, I can now slide the wheel free from the frame. For this next part, I'll need two flathead screwdrivers to unmount one side of the tire from the rim. This can be kind of hard to get started, but once you get it going, you can slide the screwdriver around the rim until one side of the tire is out of the rim. Now I can push the valve out, and because my tube is flat, I can slide the tube out from the wheel. Now fill the tube with air for the next step. We're going to find the leak. I'll submerge the tube into some water and look for air bubbles. Go all the way around until you find the leak. I can see air bubbles coming from just behind the valve. I'll mark the spot with a sharpie and get the patch kit ready. The first thing I need from the kit is this metal piece to roughen up the rubber on the tube. Now apply the cement on the sanded area and make sure you cover an area bigger than the patch. Let this dry. Now take the patch and remove the backing. On this side, cover the whole surface with cement, then set it aside for three to five minutes. When the cement has dried, you can stick the patch to the tube. Make sure it is completely sealed on the edges. Your tube is now fixed. So let the air out of the tube and let's get this bike back on the road. Starting with the valve, put it inside the wheel and through the hole in the rim. Stuff the rest of the tube back into the wheel. Once that's done, putting the tire back onto the rim is easy. At this point, you're pretty much done. Reattach the wheel, chain, and brakes, then air up the tire. I hope you're able to follow along, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos and product reviews. Want to learn more? Here are some videos I think you'd be interested in. Just click on the thumbnail to watch.